Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. In a news exclusive, I've learned the brigades have recently attacked two officers transferring a prisoner. The brigades overwhelmed the officers during a refueling stop and released the prisoners. Here tonight is Officer Green, who fortunately survived this brutal attack. Officer Green, can you tell us what happened? Well, me and Officer Thompson were refueling on our way to a more secure facility when we were suddenly attacked by at least 10 brigades. Terrible. These brigades, they're just violent criminals. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah, if anyone knows anything about the people who did this or have seen these fugitives, call the Sonia hotline or your local authorities at once. Thank you, Officer Green. In very good news, a large network of smugglers helping teens cross has recently been dismantled by security forces. Thank you for keeping our country secure, border forces. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. Nation, vote for Tyrak. Nothing less than our democracy is at stake. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. Unfortunately, due to our priors, this is an impossibility. Yeah, if you got a criminal record, you can't vote, kid. But what about you? That's nice. Hey, what are you looking out down there? Shucks, Mitch. Looks like we forgot a scratch. My brother and I are morally good, if you mind us the robin with firearms. But we do have a weakness for the scratch tickets. Oh, shoot! The cops, Stan! If they start shooting, we're goners! Kid, do something to slow him down! You wanna throw our money? You're a genius!
the criminals are now? We lost them! But we lost all our darn money! It's your fault, kid! Yeah, we are! Aren't we? Uh-huh! Kid, for your quick thinking, we'll take you a little ways further, okay? Well, Mitch and I are nice people. No! Really nice! Stand and I've tried everything. Guess I'm just a normal genius, not a genius genius. Yo, depressing. Hey, homegirl, come inside before somebody sees you. This is my secret hideout, yo. I was starting to think I was the only one. Well, it's a prototype. You can't actually detonate it. I've been designing it for this guy I know, Robert. It's just a design. Don't worry. To tell you the truth, I was just kind of curious to see if I could make it. They fight for what they believe in. I can respect that. People say they caused the peak to collapse, but I think that's BS. You? You think so, huh? Well, maybe they did it after all. Wait, I got an idea. You can be my rubber duck. A rubber duck is someone who listens to someone else describe a problem. If all goes well, the solution presents itself to the person talking. Cool, cool. So first I check the resistance with my voltmeter, and everything seems okay. Then I clean the captors, checking them too. A bit painstaking, but whatever. You're a genius! <laughs> to turn on the electricity, we need to find the generator. Could be anywhere at this station. Grab this nail gun. I got another idea. See the cable in the ceiling? Shoot the tiles to see where it goes. That's how we'll find the generator. Oh, 
Lead the way. Tell me when you find where it goes. I'm coming. Hell yeah. The generator is in here, yo. We just gotta start it now. The key should be around here somewhere. Okay, homegirl? Oh wait, try with this magnet. are on, but the station sure is in bad shape. You know, that's why we need Tarak for another ten years, and not that Flores. To make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen elsewhere. Hey, wanna scare these Tyrak supporters a little? The cable goes under their car. I can make it active. And their car, too. Yeah, this place looks closed. Foreigners and team. <laughs> <laughs> Quit fooling around, Jim. I just got electrocuted touching the car. This is one of your jokes, isn't it? No. See for yourself. Why would I try to electrocute myself? Fine. I don't feel nothing. Gotta touch the car. I wasn't lying. I really did get shocked. Come on. Let's... <laughs> ah, see, I told you. I didn't believe you. I know. Hey, look over there. Whoops. Time to run, homegirl.
gave you a ride. I gave you a ride because I know your secret. That you're my biggest fan. I don't deny it, honey bun. Well, it's written all over you. Now relax. You must be exhausted from being on the road. There's a normal sized remote to your left. See it? Everything you ever wanted can be accessed by pressing one of its normal sized buttons. Go on. Not that one. What can I do for you, Sonia? Gah. Just my driver and bodyguard. Nothing, Adam. Just do your job, would you? This is my job, Sonia. Sure you don't need anything? Yes, I'm sure, Adam. Bye! Now, I'm just gonna grab the normal size remote on this side and... Oh, look at that! That's what rich people call a sunroof. Now, go on. Climb up there! Uh-huh. Yep. Do me a favor and grab one of those fan letters beside you. Don't like to touch them. What's it say? labeled death threats. Oh gosh, almost every day. That's why I got Adam, my bodyguard and driver. As irritating as he is. Do you want me to turn the audio off, Sonya? Uh, yeah! It's a question I ask myself all the time, believe me. But whoever it is, they won't do nothing. I've been getting letters for 10 years, Snookins. Yet here I still am. Sonia? What is it, Adam? Kinda having a moment here with my biggest fan. It's time. For the Sonia show, of course. I never miss it. Now park those buns over here. We say it's live, but <laughs> that would be way too hard. Elections are closer, and all signs indicate President Tyrak will the win once again. Good news, don't you think? And now for today's missing teen report. Unfortunately, we have additional teens and blah, 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 blah. You can ask me anything you want. You know that, right? I'm here for you. How do you think they make me feel? They want to topple a system that's good to me. I don't like them at all. That's only what losers say, hun. Wait, you feel that? We're slowing down. Ring Adam for me, would you? Yes, Sonya? It wasn't me who rang Adam. So stupid. It was my biggest fan. Yes, Sonya's biggest fan? We're pulling into a security checkpoint. Looks like there's another protest. And to think this was once a nice totalitarian nation. Probably Tyrak trying to steal the election? Or Tyrak increasingly taking away their civil liberties. Ugh, babies. You suck! Sonia! CNN is Tyrak news! They think my station is owned and operated by the state. Which it's not. I mean, not 100%. Here come the police. This party is about to blow up. Sonia, please, 
get back in the limo. You're starting to sound like a black brigade, sweetie. Uh-oh, they have rocks again. sweetie. But I'm not when I say I want you out of my limo. I thought you were my biggest fan. Adam! Drop this loser off. Yes, Sonya. So long, kid. Tire. Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? You changing the subject on me? Well, if you got any advice, I guess it wouldn't hurt to hear it. Then have at it, kid. What are you? A tire whisperer? My luck. Come on, follow me.
Yes. Uh-huh. After what happened in 86? You're damn right I do. I'll take that as a compliment. I guess. Sorry, kid. I just have a lot on my mind. With you? That's all right. No offense. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just that my son, my adopted son, ran away. I... I knew something that he didn't. A secret. And when I told him, he got upset. They really can be. You're right. I told him who his biological parents were, or as much as I know about them anyway. Dangerous people, kid. Very dangerous. They were members of the Black Brigades. Yeah, I guess it is. You know about the attack in 86, right? That's the day I met my son. Kid, I'm a police officer. Don't believe the conspiracies. I was working security, hired to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Everything was going fine until it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so terrible. At some point, I, I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. Truth is, I think they're dead, kid. Killed by those rocks. What other explanation is there? I... I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. I thought it would hurt him. Did. But part of me didn't tell him because I was jealous that I wasn't his real mother. I hope so. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid, I don't know what you're up to out here. Just promise me something. Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you.
Hello, I'm Steve, owner of the Paradise Motel, where just one night will forever change your life. Now, there are rumors of a serial killer in the area, but that's just what those are, rumors. not your room. Don't worry. I'm a taxi driver. I'm used to sharing spaces with strangers. No. Personally, I find it cozy in here. Just you and me. Together. Don't worry. I just need your help. With a little problem. be a cop. They're patrolling motels looking for missing teens. Teens like you. Just do what I say and nothing bad will happen. You can trust me. Get in the closet and don't make a sound. Not even a peep. Get in the closet and don't make a sound. Not even a peep. Oh, hi, Steve. I really... Oh, you found my little problem. Good. So, yeah, I need your help with that. See that face on the TV. Soon it will be gone. Now, come on. Let's give our little friend here a nice hot bath. He could use some cleaning up, don't you think? Yeah, I bet you are. Try to escape. I'll know if you do. Thing. Oh, is Jared here? Does he have enough towels? Jared goes for a lot of towels. Oh, okay then. So, there's nothing I can help Jared with. 
Phew, what a relief. Oh, I see Jared's watching the boob tube. Is the reception to Jared's liking? Oh, okay, good. Well, tell me if Jared needs more channels. Make him go away. Now. What's that smell? You guys grilling in there? Fine, but you don't have to be rude about it. Close call. Steve's not a connect-the-dots kind of guy. Yeah. Here, for helping me with my little problem. Now go. Hey, get down! Backpack, dirty, smelly. I take it you're looking for the cave. 
Me too. Follow me. We need to get away from the road. I know where the cave is. At least, I think I do. My name's Zoe. I don't know about you, but I've had a pretty intense journey to get here. Tough, but good. All I'll say is, after everything, I'm a different person. And that's good. Believe me, I want to help people now, not just myself. So I took off with no plan Thinking I could find a friend Saying hi, shaking hands I hope this moment never ends so See the waterfall? Over there! That's where we're headed! Strange attached, no looking back from Skies and summer nights I know The road is my home It's what it feels like Wow, look at this view Chasing butterflies and floating on the breeze I got no doors, I need no keys Another one Despite everything that's wrong here, there's still so much beauty. Just a sec. I want to try something. Echo! Echo! I know, cheesy. But I've always wanted to do that. You must have had some pretty amazing adventures yourself. Yeah, I totally understand. Some are too painful to talk about. But these experiences, they've made us stronger. I'm not a masochist, but I'm thankful for them. The cave should be just up there. Again, I think. Follow me! Radio was right. I can't believe this place really exists. It's so cool. You're a moderate. I can get down with that, at least on certain issues. Come on, let's check it out. Look, someone left their things behind. Somebody's journal. A man and his son were traveling together. This cave isn't only used by teens. He he was frightened they wouldn't make it. Me too. This country has ruined so many lives. Come on, let's go back and start a fire. It's cold in here. Grab some sticks, and we'll need a light.
Know how to start a fire? If we can start one, we should be warm and toasty in no time. Can I tell you something? You know how earlier I said I wanted to help people? Well, this is how I'm gonna do it. Classified government documents. Showing the brigades didn't cause the collapse in 86, like everyone says. Tyrak did it. Mount National was rigged with explosives to prevent avalanches, like every other year. When the brigades tried to take Tyrek out, he triggered the explosion. Uh, let's just say, my dad has a very important position in the government. The brigades are gonna help me reach the other side. When I get to the border, they'll send me a signal. And when I cross, if I cross, I'll share this with every foreign news outlet I can. Oh, uh, if you want, sure. We should probably get some rest then. Getting past security isn't gonna be easy. Tomorrow is the beginning of the end of Tyrak, I hope. So long. Are you kidding me, man? This Walkman is a piece of junk. When you You should be arrested for trying to hawk this. It's you. It's nice to see you. I thought we'd never see each other again. Listen, I hope you're not angry with me about the cave. I was just trying to help you, really. Thanks for saying that. There's been a delay, but I might cross tonight. That's why I was trying to buy a walk to hear the signal. Maybe I shouldn't say this here. The brigades are gonna send me a signal telling me when it's right to cross. They could be sending me the signal right now. I need a walkman. Let's listen to it in my tent. Follow me. It's what it feels like to be free. Chasing butterflies and floating on the breeze. I got no doors and need no keys. You don't
beautiful view, huh? Except for that monstrosity in the middle. There's a plan, but I can't tell you here. Come on, let's go to my tent. She's with me, Sean. Sure, no problem. A friend of Zoe's is a friend of mine. Look at those trucks lined up to cross. They're selling our resources to the rest of the world. But 99% of our people will never see any of that money. It all goes to Tyrak and his cronies, including my father. Uh, so, can I have my Walkman? Put it on 191.9. This is 191.9, the voice of the brigades. This is your papa baby here. Before we begin, a personal message for Z. This is it. The rooster will sing three times. I repeat, the rooster will sing three times. That was a signal. At three in the morning, a truck will crash into the wall. It's a diversion, something to draw security in. That's when we cross. I've been thinking, having someone with me could actually help. Wait, you do want to come with me, right? I didn't even ask. I would totally understand if... Great. Okay then. I know it's not cool, but we should get some sleep. You know, it's gonna be difficult, even with a diversion. This time when you wake up, I'll be there. I promise. And then, we'll cross together. Good night. Once we jump down. Yes, we 
can, but we have to believe. My hands are shaking. Yagi, do it. Well done. There they are. Jump. You might lose your life along the way, but for each person that falls, another rises up. The trick is to keep moving forward.